What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am so glad that you all could join me. Uh, this is probably going to be the last video for the year 2023. Uh, it's been a very good year. Uh, a lot of good things have happened to me this year. Uh, I got certified in a couple classes uh, with my, my job, which is going to be pretty cool. And once I'm able to lock down some, some classes, uh, I'll probably get those out to let people know the classes are specifically specifically for law enforcement so I can't give these classes out to everybody because they are specifically for law enforcement so sorry about that but I also got my uh, certification as a firearms instructor which that is not just strictly law enforcement so once I get a chance to get that out uh, I will start doing some classes I'll also be partnering up with one of my good friends uh, Reggie Frazier with train with Reggie firearms Academy so y'all be looking out for that we're gonna do some collaboration and stuff like that so next year you know 2024 I'm I'm, I'm thinking 2024 is gonna be a good year so be on the lookout for that as well as I'm gonna get back on my grind on fishing a lot more so be on the lookout for that and if you guys have liked what you have seen so far for this year and you can't wait to see what's coming up next year do me a favor do yourself a favor click the subscribe button down below click on that bell so you get notified anytime i put out my videos also if you guys like these videos please do me a favor smash the thumbs up button and drop me some comments i'm still doing that giveaway guys uh it will be a six gill cyclone reel and i think i had that one set for whenever i get to uh 200 subscribers and then if i can hit 250 subscribers then somebody will win a monster bass box so two cool prizes right there uh monster bass if you guys don't know every month i get a box from these guys fishing subscriber uh subscribe based company they send you a box of bait that they have picked out excuse me for that uh it's a box of bait that they have picked out and it's based on the region that you fish so whatever's in this box for that specific um season of fishing the lures that are in here and the different uh, terminal tackle should fit the fishing conditions for your area a lot of the other companies don't do that this one you get to pick your area so that way you know you're getting baits that's going to help you during that time and you're not just getting a bunch of baits that's not really going to help you out plus they also send a lot of cool uh new baits that come out baits that you probably walk by and see them all the time at a uh, bass pro or academy sports or wherever you buy all your fishing tackle and you wouldn't even think twice of picking that up but you get it in this box you try it out and hey it might turn you on to something new so uh Again, 250 subscribers and somebody will win a Monster Bass box. 200 subscribers, somebody will win a six gill Cyclone reel. I will also put the uh, ceramic ball bearings in there so that way it's a very, very smooth casting as well as a smooth retrieve. Uh, that's all I got for that. What we're about to do for our last video for 2023 here on Outdoors with Creed, I have my November's bass box as well as my december monster bass box so i'm gonna open these up one of these boxes guys i just got it the other day so we're gonna go through it together so first we're gonna start out with this one this is the november box i cut it open i looked through it but i didn't really you know i didn't do a video on it uh some stuff I got mixed up with my payment and stuff so I keep I get my boxes at the end of the month now so I have to go back in and change that up so I can get them earlier so that way you guys can get a almost like a sneak preview not really a sneak preview but you get to see what what I'm getting and what I can be using during that month anyways we're gonna jump into it again this was November's box so as always guys you get your guide booklet here with a lot of information from Bass Pros uh, let's see who they talked to on this one. Uh, oh, here we go. John, or uh, not John Cruz. I'm sorry. I was about to say John Cruz. This is John Cox. 
2019, he earned an Elite Series invitation through both the Central and Eastern Open divisions, no doubt aided by his win in the 2019 Eastern Open at Chickamauga Lake and a second place finish in the 2019 uh, Central Open at Lewis Smith Lake. So John Cox, at one point John Cox was fishing uh, bass and uh, I want to say it was FLW or it might have been after FLW was taken over by uh, Major League Fishing. But at one point he was fishing both circuits. And I mean the guy was crushing it so you can't go wrong getting information from him. So to start out uh, we have this Bait Lab uh, jerk bait right here. Uh, this looks like a perch color to me. Let's see if it will tell me on the label somewhere. It is a holo shiner and it says banging bluegill uh, and this is 4.5 inches it's got a small lip on it so it's probably shallow uh, with with jerk baits and crank baits and then stuff like that depending on your lip size is going to tell you how deep you're going to get it but also your uh, line size will help determine uh, the depth that you're going to get down to I would probably go down no lower than a 10 pound uh, fluorocarbon with this. Uh, I would throw this on my six gill hem doll rod or no. No, I can't remember what they call it, but it's the six gill uh, rod that they have designed specifically for jerkbait fishing. Maybe 10 pound test line on this. Cannot go wrong with that guy. Uh, right here is a square bill. And this is a monster bass square bill. Uh, it's their monster bass flat line. Dives down two to six feet, five eighth an ounce uh, in weight. I mean, I'm sorry. This is called their sexy cracks. So it's basically got the sexy shad color, but I don't know if you guys can see that. There it is. You, it has all the cracks and stuff in it. So a uh, good shallow running crankbait square bill so you know like it says two to six feet deep i would probably throw this on a medium rod 12 pound fluorocarbon banging this thing off of the rocks and any limbs that might be in the water uh that'd be a good good one to catch fish with right here we have the arc elite uh this is their z series this is their uh lipless crankbait that they have here color is called baby bass so as you know bass are predator fish they do eat their own fry so that'll be a good one right there and there's a ton of ways you can fish lipless crankbaits you can do a steady retrieve on it uh, you can yo-yo it where you basically throw it out let it get down to the bottom and then you pop it up and then as you lower your rod back down that's when you take up the slack and then yo-yo it back up and so it kind of just does this little motion like this almost looks like a a dying bait fish that's struggling to swim and that will attract a lot of fish especially like this time even though we're in december about to be in january but with that colder water the fish aren't gonna use up a lot of energy chasing after a food source so fishing this in that yo-yo fashion will probably be a good way to catch uh one of those big old fish that is not trying to get out there and do a whole lot of chasing uh right here we have tackle hd uh high def crawl small little crawls uh this is green pumpkin three inch crawls i would probably throw this on uh maybe some kind of a jig head maybe uh maybe a nico hook because these are very small baits so you're going to use a small hook with this drag it on the bottom maybe use it on a finesse jig as a trailer but cool little bait to throw out uh right here we have some strike king rodents uh, if you guys know i love strike king baits that's usually what i go to the store and buy uh, these are the blue crawl with red flake in it again uh, I'd probably throw this on a straight shank hook uh, flipping maybe even put it on a jig as a trailer but you cannot go wrong with strike king and then as I was saying I have some round bend hooks right here so maybe those crawls and these rodents and then also we have a a jig from queen tackle uh, three quarter ounce 
hammerhead jig and it's a green jelly color so you've got that pb and j color skirt but then the jig head is painted with a, a green pumpkin and this is a football head jig so i would probably take this jig with either one of these rodents or one of these high def crawls and drag this on the bottom trying to look for those fish that are down there you know trying to stay in that I would say comfortable water temperature because like I said at this point water temperatures are probably cold so they're not going to be up shallow but they're trying to stay comfortable and try to get them an easy meal so again just dragging it along the bottom don't lift up uh, cast out in front of you or fan cast and then I would either pull to your right or pull to your left that way you're keeping that rod parallel to the water and that way as you you know as you're dragging it you're keeping that bottom contact your rod will bounce so you're able to feel all the the rocks and everything on the bottom but then when that fish hit then you're going to get that thump you might even get the the rod tip to give you a nice little little flash i guess is what i'm gonna call it but a quick little you know where it bumps and then that'll help you detect those bites and then after that you can either lift up to see if you feel pressure or just go in and set the hook on them and see what you get uh, and that was it for the November box but don't forget whatever you got in November you can still use in December and now we're gonna open up the December box like I said I just got this the other day so this is the first time for me to see what is in this box so we're gonna we're gonna experience this one together all right as always you have your book let's see this time we are going to be featuring as always uh monster bass does their live videos every thursdays uh, i believe it's six o'clock and right here we have major league fishing pro jonathan van dam he is the nephew of legendary fishing, uh, legendary fisherman Kevin Van Dam. Jonathan, he's been making his own name out there on the on the circuit. Uh, I watch a lot of the major league fishing as well as Bassmasters, so um, Jonathan has been making his own name. Crazy little story. I didn't meet Jonathan. I didn't meet Jonathan, but uh, a few years ago we went to uh, Branson on a family summer trip. And it just so happened that the time we was there, uh, the Bass Pro Tour was fishing on Table Rock Lake. And we go to the outlet malls and I see Jonathan's truck out there. I turned into a little kid and I was just like going crazy. I was hitting my wife and stuff telling her like, hey, you know who truck that is? And of course she doesn't watch fishing. So she just looks at me and she's like, no. And at the time, my middle daughter was fishing on the school's fishing team and so i was like hey you want to go take a picture in front of jonathan van damme's truck and then you can show everybody at the school that you took a picture in front of his truck so we did sneak over there we did get a picture in front of his truck and then as we were walking off his wife comes out of the store and i i started watching her to see where she was going and she walks right over to the truck and again i turn into a little kid and i i walk over there to her you know excuse me ma'am sorry to bother you is jonathan here and then she just she was very very polite lady i'm surprised she didn't get freaked out by some strange guy walking up and then just like throwing her husband's name out like that but she's a very polite lady very nice and she was just like oh no he's on the water fishing and I was like, ah, oh, okay. I kind of figured that. And she was like, yeah, we, we go with the guys and help drop off the boat. And then after that, the wives, we take the trucks and we go shopping. So they go out on the water, try to make money, and then we spend the money. So I, I told her that, you know, I explained to her I'm a big fisherman. Kevin Van Dam's one of my favorites. And I, I saw Jonathan's truck, and I just thought I'd take a chance and see if I get a chance to meet him. She was a very nice lady, so I just thought I'd throw that in there since they had Jonathan Van Dam in the book here. But uh, again, always get great, helpful tips from these guys. And that way, as you get these lures, you can look in here to see uh, what tips they give to help you use those lures and catch fish. So let's jump into this box. First thing I'm going to pull out, Monster Bass Rod Sleeves. 
uh, rod sleeves are a big investment. You spend hundreds of dollars on your fishing gear, your rods and stuff, take care of them by putting a rod sock on there, uh, rod sock, rod sleeve, whatever you want to call them. Also, if you, you know, in your rod lockers, you put a rod sleeve on there and it'll help protect your guides on your rods. So that way you're not breaking guides off when you're jamming them down into those rod lockers. So I would suggest getting those anytime you get a chance. Okay, and now we're going to get into this. Let's see here. Flat side crankbait. Okay. So I am not seeing a flat side crankbait. Nope, right here. Yes, this is it. First up, flat side crankbait, but we have a Strike King KVD uh, 1.5. Uh, this bad boy dives down to eight feet deep again that's gonna depend on your um, your line size that you got uh, the smaller you go down in your line size six pound eight pound ten pound twelve pound the smaller you go down the deeper you're gonna get your bait but remember also as you downsize on that line you got to play those fish very, very carefully or else they'll break off. That also plays in with the uh, your rod selection. Uh, this one here is the Phantom Watermelon Red Crawl. So a little bit of green in there on the back side and then you got that red on the belly right there. So cold water lure, uh, nice tight wobble, little shimmy. Uh, for this, they suggest fishing it around humps, ledges, brush piles, open water, riprap, points, docks, rocks, and trees. And it says 14 pound fluorocarbon is what they suggest on a 6.3 to 1 gear ratio reel. You don't want to reel too fast because you don't want to pull it out of the fish's, you know, out of their mouth. Seven foot monster bass lunker stick. I would go with a medium rod. Um, something that loads up really good so when those fish either surge down your rod will load and give and bend and give away to allow them to you know run but then also your line it, it you got to make sure you pair that up really really good because you know if your rod is too stiff the line can break but then you don't want too limp of a rod that way you don't get a good hook set so you gotta again you gotta try to match it up as best as you can Okay, we're gonna flip to the next page in here. And we got a hundred Thunderhawk grenade. So right here. Nope, those are bio baits, I'm sorry. I don't have a Thunderhawk, so I did not get a Thunderhawk. Oh no. That hurt. Okay. Well, let's go on to something else. Uh the jerk bait. Jerk bait, jerk bait, cold water, jerk bait. So here we have Excalibur. This is a half ounce suspending jerk bait. Poison something, I don't know. Black silver is the color for this one. So a nice shad looking bait. Uh, with jerk baits, you want to remember your cadence. Uh, colder water, you want a slower cadence because that's, you know, the shad usually die off during this time. So you want to imitate a dying shad that's trying to flee and get away. So you probably want a nice slow cadence, uh, twitch, and then pause, three to five seconds. Twitch, twitch, pause, three to five seconds. Twitch, pause. Again, three to five seconds, or you can vary your pausing times. And then you could even go with a twitch, 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 and then pause. But change up your cadence. Let the fish tell you what they're looking for. And this will be a great one to use during this time. Uh, for the jerk bait, you can fish it around humps, uh, around ledges, open water, rip wrap, points, docks, rocks, and trees. Uh, the suggested gear, seven foot monster bass lunker stick, six to 12 pound fluorocarbon. And for this one, they're suggesting fishing it on a 2,500 size spinning reel. So this one, they're suggesting to fish this on a spinning setup. So again, you're going light, light tackle, but 
with the right setup, you'll be able to fight these fish with no problems. Uh, the blade bait. So this little guy right here, nice little bladed bait right there. Uh, it's a half ounce in weight. Color is just called a Cylone. Um, I've never really fished with these, so this would be very interesting for me to try these. Uh, this says you can throw it on a bait caster. It's a half ounce, so yeah, you should be able to throw this on a bait caster. Pretty easy. Seven foot monster bass lunker stick. Ten to twelve, twelve, ten. Excuse me, ten to fifteen pound fluorocarbon and an eight to one gear ratio reel. So cool little lure. I'm gonna have to try this one time. Like I said, I've never fished those before, so it'd be pretty interesting to throw that. And that's all they have in the book. But in the box, I have a cobra spinner bait. Uh, nice little design on the the blades there. Uh, a lot of divots in them, which that will play a part in the flash, as well as the vibration and the water displacement. Uh, the weight for this is a 3 8 ounce and the color is what they call a sneak flash uh it's the skirt is white with some silver in it the jig head on it is painted white and it's uh cracked up let's see here it's got custom canoe blades hand tied skirt heavy gauge six odd hook 1.3 millimeter hd wire with a custom realistic jig head uh, let's see here so this must be a new company uh, down here it says best if fished with a 7 to 1 gear ratio reel or faster so I'm guessing the way they do this is you throw it out there and you just do a steady retrieve uh, put your favorite trailer on there uh, next I have some smart baits uh, these little baits right here uh, with these size I would say you throw these on a uh, drop shot of some kind or a uh, you might even be able to put this on a weightless spinning reel and just kind of reel it back nice and slow maybe even with a small uh, small weight on it and then we have some bio bait I uh, believe these are their leeches. They're in a black color. Again, uh, I would probably throw this on a drop shot or maybe even a Nico or Neko rig, however you want to say it. Uh, again, also put it on just a small spinning reel and just a slow, steady retrieve. And then we have a bag of round bend mustad hook, six pack. These are two odd hooks so I would probably use these hooks with the uh, the bio bait or the smart bait S smart bait I said smart bait semantis baits I'm sorry semantis so either one of these would pair up good with these hooks on a spinning setup or you could even put it if you got enough weight throw it on a bait casting setup and as always monster bass stickers your monster bass card so whenever you tune in to the YouTube show uh, YouTube channel on Thursdays they call your number you win a prize uh, like I said guys always always great baits that come in these boxes um, ever since I have become one of their ambassadors I've always been excited about getting these boxes every day I know we just had Christmas but every day when you get these boxes every month is like Christmas. Sometimes you don't even have to go to the bait, uh, to your tackle store to get anything because you've got it behind the camera here on my small wall that I've got baits on. I've got so much on here. I wouldn't have to go to the store for a while to get any baits. But again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in throughout the year. Uh, thank you for the support. Uh, the video I did on my Roni setup, man, the video, the views that came with that, it blew me away. I was overjoyed with how many people tuned in on that video. Uh, 
please do me a favor though please subscribe to the channel I think I've got about 90 percent of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed to this channel so please do me a favor hit that subscribe button if you like the videos that I put out drop me some comments and let me know that you like the videos if you got questions please drop questions I will try to answer those questions um, based on what I know and I will try to figure out from somebody else to get back to you guys because I don't want you guys going out there with the wrong information or false information. So please drop me comments, drop questions. I will do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Uh, again, to enter that for those contest giveaways, uh, subscribe to the channel and then drop me a comment to let me know that you just subscribed and put your name on there so I can put you on the little wheel so that way it'll get you entered in there for one of these giveaways uh that's all i got guys hope everybody had a very very merry christmas and i hope you all have a very very happy new year see you guys in 2024 until then see you guys in the great outdoors make sure you train safe and train smart and always stay prayed up peace